James McSweeney on the Fight Box podcast. Uh, we got Mixed Fight Gala 24 just around the corner tomorrow. Uh, we just finished the weigh in so you had a chance to look into your opponent's eyes, get a feel for them. Uh, what did you think? Um, yeah, I don't know much about my opponent. I looked, um, I took the fight on short notice, three weeks um, I got the call. But um, I saw a couple of his fights, but looking at him today, I always concentrate on myself. I look into his eyes and uh, I think he's a little nervous. He, he's not as much, nowhere near as much experience as me. So uh, he would be nervous, I'm sure. But um, it doesn't really matter how he feels, it's just about how I feel tomorrow. I feel good, my body's good, and uh, I'm, even though I took the fight on short notice, I've been training every day anyway. It's not like I wasn't preparing for something. So I was already in shape and helping and training and sparring every day and doing my work. So I'm in good shape too. So there will be no excuses tomorrow, and uh, I'm ready to fight. Now, I couldn't really find too much information about this guy. Uh, were you able to learn something about him and come up with a game plan, or is this just one of those situations where you just dive in head first? And well, it's funny with, with K1 or Thai boxing to make game plans, really. You know, you just see what they kind of do. So I watched a couple of his fights online. Um, he hasn't had a lot of experience, but I did see a couple of little traits that he does regular that uh, I'll keep an eye out. Um, some are dangerous and some are not so dangerous. Some are big mistakes on his part that I can capitalize very easy on. Um, but yeah, like I say, to be honest, I've, I've had over 150 odd uh, MMA fight, uh, uh, Thai boxing fights and over 50 uh, K1 fights in my time. So it's not like I'm not experienced in the, in the stand-up realm. So there's nothing he can bring to me that I haven't seen before. Um, he's, he's definitely not the highest level of kickbox I've ever fought before. But you know what? I am no way near going to underestimate anybody. Uh, this is a professional fight. Uh, I don't underestimate or overestimate. I prepare for everyone exactly the same. In my opinion right now, he's the world champion. I'm going to fight the best of my ability and uh, when I do that, I won't be beat. Now, a lot of people do, when they think of Jane Sweeney, McSweeney, think of an MMA fighter, but you really have a very extensive kickboxing background. This is going to be under K1 rules. So Yeah, I mean, I had 44 official K1 fights in my career, and, um, and then Muay Thai, of course, 158 Muay Thai fights. So I'm very, a very long career in that before I went to MMA. I pretty much only went to MMA because the K1 in Japan at the time that I was fighting in was shutting down, and there really wasn't much avenue for us at the time to go on to fight and earn good money. MMA was extremely exciting at the time and really started to take off with the UFC. And I was very fortunate once I decided to get into MMA, I got into the Ultimate Fight House within about six to eight weeks. And then of course I started my MMA career and it kind of snowballed from there. So I've been fortunate in my career in some aspects, but um, uh, and this is my first love. You know, you never forget your first passion. And I always said, I can't wait to one day fight kickboxing again. And I'm very fortunate now where I have open contracts. So I can fight MMA, kickboxing. I haven't got to make that choice. Uh, I can actually fight both. So um, why not towards the end of my career? I, I believe I've got another five years left. And uh, why not experiment and finish the way I want to finish and enjoy myself? Well, so if you had any words for your opponent before you face him tomorrow, what would it be? He just made a mistake. He made a mistake. Yeah. But I'm happy he took the fight. So uh, everyone's going to see who I really am tomorrow. Uh, everyone's probably forgot about my past in kickboxing and K1. Everyone's probably saying, ah, oh, James has uh, had a, a, a health issues and he had to have a year off and this and that. But they're going to see how healthy I am tomorrow. And uh, they're going to be in for a real shock.